Hi, I'm Louise Gamble. I'm the KTP associate working on the Honeyberry project. This project is in collaboration with the James Hutton Institute and the Scottish Honeyberry Growers Cooperative. The Scottish Honeyberry Growers are a group of nine different growers all across Scotland. Um, they've recently introduced Honeyberry into their farms because um, they see the environmental and economical benefits of growing this new crop for Scotland. So we've now moved to um, a different part of the orchard just to show you the different developmental stages of the honeyberry. So we're here now looking at plants that are around about two to three years old um, and they're starting to grow nicely um, in terms of structure. We're able to monitor how well they're growing, um, how they're adapting to our climate. We're also able to compare different varieties. So you can see that this variety we have here um, is definitely different from the variety we have over here. This one is um, a lot more vigorous, but there's um, a lot of different uh, things that need to be taken into account when selecting the best varieties. Not only the growth is important for the machine to be able to come along and harvest, um, we also need to be aware of how well they grow in our climate and the berries they produce and what market those berries will go into. So one uh, really important thing for this crop is pollination. Pollination must occur for berries to form uh, properly um, and to reach the, the maximum size. Pollination obviously then occurs um, during flowering time, as I mentioned, uh, from starting from kind of March onwards. Um, and it's really a key thing to keep um, a good population of bees um, some naturally occurring bees and bumblebees in and around the orchard. So this particular variety is ready for harvesting today. We can see that the berries are uh, really nicely coloured. Um, and behind us now we have the harvester coming. So we can have a look at that and see how that is um, removing the berries from, from the bushes. So we're now here at the James Hutton Institute where we have a dedicated plot for honeyberry varieties. These varieties are commercial ones that are available mainly from Poland and Canada. Um, it allows us to keep our eye on all these different commercial varieties and see how well they grow in Scotland. This is important, very important for the cooperative and the growers and obviously for establishing honeyberry varieties in the future. So I really hope you've enjoyed learning about the honeyberry um, and all the different interesting facts and also looking at how well it's developing here in Dundee.